the most coverage from your foundation and concealer, let me just say that prepping your skin is super important in the look and lasting power of your foundation and concealer. I always suggest starting with a high quality primer. Ours is called Glorious. I love this for a million and two reasons, but I really, really love the way my foundation and my concealer just glides over my face. I use less product and it looks super skin-like. So now let's talk about foundation and concealer. I apply my foundation first. The purpose of your foundation is to be buffed into your skin and for your skin to look like skin. Your foundation is not meant to look heavy on your skin or cake-like on your skin or like plaster on your skin. We want your skin to look like skin. So when I take a little bit of this foundation onto my liquid foundation brush, a few drops, I dab it all over my face and I buff it into my skin. concealer comes in. If you have any acne scars or area of heavy discoloration and things like that, or if you have dark under eye circles, you are going to want a concealer. A concealer's purpose is to do exactly that. It's to conceal. So here are my tips for you. If you have areas that need more coverage, you want to press it into your skin. So especially if you are going under your eyes, the darkest parts are closest to your eyes. So especially in those areas where you want the concealer to cover more, you want to press it into your skin or bump it into your skin with a beauty bud. Not only will this help it again look like your skin, but it will have a heavier coverage in those areas. And in areas where you want it to be sheared out, you can blend it out nicely. The reason I apply a concealer over a foundation is because I want my concealer to stay where I put it. I don't want it to be buffed into my entire skin and I don't want it to lose its concealing power by putting a foundation over it. I want it to stay where I'm putting it. So if I have any breakouts like I did down here, I will put it in these specific areas and I will press it in for heavier coverage. You make this concealer as sheer or as full coverage as you want. However, if you do have oily skin, I suggest you not use your finger. I suggest you use a tool. When you're applying your concealer, make sure you go in a V shape under your eye because that is where the light would naturally hit you. If you want to brighten up your under eyes, you may want to go a shade or two lighter than your natural skin tone. Foundation comes first after you have moisturized and primed your skin. Preferably leave your primer on for a few minutes. You want to buff this into your skin. You want to start lightly because you really do want your skin to look like your skin. If you need more coverage, you can add a bit more of this, but again, buff into your face, into, into your hairline, and down your neck. And then top it off with your concealer. All right, if you don't know, now you know. Bye.